Welcome to the Cambridge Technicals Level 3 Digital Media Taster Session with me, Mr. Arda, uh, just talking about the course and just giving you a presentation which gives you an overview. First of all, let's just do a, uh, an activity just to get you started. I just want you to think about the following and perhaps just Google it online and just see what you can find out. Can you give me examples of audio products, audio visual products, or print-based graphic products that you might come across in everyday life. And for a challenge activity, explain an example of one that you might have actually seen that has actually been effective. So pause this video and have a look around and can you give some examples? Okay, now you've at least had an opportunity just to reflect and think about the different kinds of products and I'm going to go through some different ones with you. So in terms of audio, we have radio shows or we have other events for music that take place and songs. So radio shows, music shows and songs all different kinds of media that we use and consume every day through podcasts for example. So sound editing is very important here. So for audio visual here's some suggestions. So there's promotional videos for events that we've seen online. Uh, any kind of online content in terms of websites or documentary videos that we might have watched. And the third category of print based graphics. So we've got various examples here of the kinds of things that you can design and create such as double page magazine or newspaper spreads, posters, billboards, uh, digital content again and uh, leaflets and information packs. And it's really important to be able to analyse the kinds of audiences that documents are created for or the kind of advertising and how that is targeted. And these are the kinds of concepts that we look at in the course. So the OCR Level 3 Cambridge Technical Extended Certificate is the course that you would be doing and it's a 1A level equivalent and really it's for students who want to study digital media and that kind of concept and product development and you learn a range of skills with different kinds of software in the digital media course. So within this certificate as I said, it's one A level, and in there, there are three mandatory units. So, for example, uh, units one and two done across the two years are exam based. So, you would have to have a paper which you will have to carry out an examination for on media products and audiences and pre production and planning. All very important concepts for understanding how, for example, audio visual video works and the film language that lies behind that or looking at the kinds of products that are created uh, with particular uh, examples of those used in everyday life and also of any other things that you come across. In Unit 3 is an example of a coursework unit, uh, Create a Media Product and I'll talk about this a bit later. And to complete your course which would be 360 hours of guided learning uh, there are also two optional units of 120 hours. So if you take a typical unit, like Unit 3 for example, is 60 hours and Unit 1 and 2 are exam and so that means they typically will be 90 hours each. So then you have another 120 hours. That's typically two uh, or three units uh, depending on the size of each one. So those mandatory units, we just talked about the two exams there and the coursework as mentioned earlier. And this is the kind of information you might be learning about in terms of how different media institutions 
uh, create products that appeal to audiences, uh, gaining the knowledge and understanding of products, processes, and creating a media product. So you'll be learning lots of different software skills. And then it's more the soft skills of developing transferable skills, such as planning, communication, adaptability, and leadership. Because it's really important to stay ahead of deadlines. It's really important for you to be able to work with confidence. And presentations are a big part of this course. Your ability to be able to articulate your points is going to really help you in the world of work really help you when it comes to things like interviews and making your points absolutely clear in relation to audiences and the kind of products and ideas that you put across and create. So in terms of optional units, these are examples of the kinds of optional units that students study and for example, the current Year 12 students have been doing the uh, unit on uh, planning and delivering a pitch uh, in terms of those presentation skills which I've mentioned. So it's a real big emphasis on that and that's really important, as I say, uh, because it will help you with you know, interviews and other skills and just feeling confident and good about yourself when it comes to public speaking. So, we said about those mandatory units, we've said about those two optional units. That's just giving you a reminder of the overview of the course. So, in one coursework unit, for example, Unit 3, Create a Media Product, there are four lesson objectives and they have different pass, merit and distinction criteria. So, in LO1, or lesson objective one, you create a proposal with sample materials. In LO2, you will create some pre-production materials, anything from mood boards to visualization diagrams and looking at how these are appropriate to a client brief. In LO3 is the more practical emphasis of actually creating the materials, so we look at programs like Photoshop, for example, uh, for digital design. And in LO4, is about post-production techniques and processes. So you may have taken photographs, you may have collated images, you may need to use a program like Photoshop to be able to edit things for an actual client brief. So here's an example scenario that you might have had in previous uh, pieces of work. A culture campaign and being asked to create a promotional material for them and in terms of promoting London. So again, it may well be any one of these. Typically, it's a print-based graphics product that is created. So some examples of the kinds of things that you would do in this coursework or learn in the course. You'd look at a uh, production materials and looking at scheduling and how do you plan your time and different techniques might be using Google Sheets, for example, to create a Gantt chart, which helps you to plan that time and to sequence things, because this is what's done in industry. And then you'd have to annotate and, and write about the kinds of visualizations or, or images and development ideas that you create. So this planning is really important because you look at the various designs that you create and in terms of production values, you have to look at things like health and safety requirements and risk assessments to look at how uh, shoots on location are carried out and how those are done safely. So there are legal requirements which you have to research and you have to find out about. And you may be shooting on location and having to devise images and information together and take that into consideration with your planning. So it's really important to understand that there is a lot of written work in this course and in order to be really successful with that written work uh, you will be guided and supported by your teachers to be able to look at anything from legal requirements, ethical issues that come about from uh, creating promotional material and it's just really important that your written work and your ability to express your ideas very clearly and research these are the kinds of skills that you would need at university and these are really developed here in uh, the digital media course. 
So other things w which would happen are you carry out a recce, you might go on location to look at a particular shoot and assess the need for photographs to be taken and other information. So you may use programs like Photoshop and document the techniques that you carry out. And this is the bit that students really like and enjoy because they really get to know a fantastic package like Photoshop in terms of developing their images. We use Google Classroom very frequently throughout the course so you'd be submitting your coursework and it being marked online and being provided back to you and that just gives you a lot of flexibility uh, to be able to carry on that work throughout. And so you've got to hear some ideas of things like uh, mind maps and other written work that you have to carry out. And finally, uh, here's just a couple of examples of um, some promotional material um, completed by a year 12 student. So he's used Photoshop uh, to be able to develop some images and to put some mock-up ideas together. Well, I hope that answers your questions about the digital media course and we look forward to hearing from you if you've got any questions.